Tom's gonna be my dentist today. I'm not going anywhere near your mouth. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me, John? John's taking me to the dentist because he is my dentist. I didn't know you were a dentist too, John. So what you'll need to do first, you've got first of all go through, you sign a form for COVID. Basically they check your temperature, make sure you're alright. And then they give you a pack. Then you'll need to register. Register what, John? To, to, to use the facility. Oh. They go to floor two and just wait for a dentist. Um, my appointment's already booked, so I probably won't see you again because it'll be different times. It's just before one. That's where you register. So, before one? Yeah, yeah. Number, not one, but before it. Yeah. It's called. Registration, maybe. Registration on it. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hot sauce. So, so, hot sauce. Please help me to write your name in here. Let's go to the green one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. What do you do? Rural day. Four. This is where we say goodbye, John. Good luck. Super sa. So. So they brought me upstairs, second floor, looks like it's just a routine cleaning. Everything so far has been very similar to just American dentists. Uh, everything's very clean, very white, very nice. This is the university, so it looks very, very like, like a classroom all the time. But I'm very excited and so far, so good. So in order for them to perform the cleaning, I need to... Uh, get an x-ray. I tried to wiggle out of it, but uh, I at least understood that conversation uh, as limited as it could be. They're very helpful and very friendly here. Well, there's this super cool like head machine for the x-ray. Never seen it before standing. Uh, last time I seen something like this type of technology was for the brain. I, I didn't know they did it for the teeth, so that was kind of cool. <laughs> Feeling super frustrated, man. Like, uh, just it, it makes me really evaluate the um, the intensity of how I study Japanese. It's, there's so much Japanese around me. Well, that went really, really well. Uh, the assistant that I was working with. He apologized at the end saying, I'm sorry, I don't speak a lot of English. I had to call somebody else for some help. It was a great time. Well, that was a lovely experience here at the, uh, the dentist. Uh, Kanagawa Dental University Hospital here in Yokosuka. Gave me a nice refresher course on the Japanese that I want to learn. And the people here are very nice and very kind. The place is awesome. Highly recommend. Thanks, John, again. Shout out, Scotsman in Japan. Bring him, uh, Walk me through the steps that I needed to. Life's good. And uh, yeah, let's go home. <clears throat> so today I felt very disappointed. I felt very beat, uh, very upset. There was so much Japanese around me. And I felt that I wasn't getting any closer to my goal of speaking, you know, fluently or even wanting to speak fluently, like I was just so far away from it. I felt so angry, powerless and disappointed. Here's the problem, you know, I'm recognizing it. After seven days of having these language lessons every day, I noticed that there's a piece missing. There's a piece missing to the speaking and listening portion and even though I'm learning vocabulary there's still so much more that I need to improve so much more that I need to put in so much work I need to put in in order for me to get better at learning Japanese so after seven days this is what I learned so what I learned after seven days of 30 minute listening and speaking Japanese lessons was two things, some positives and some negatives. So the first part, 
Um, some of the pros, I had different teachers every day or every other day. That was, a, that was a plus. Next, the new styles. Every teacher had a different approach to their uh, style of teaching, what they wanted to do and how they wanted to do things. And last, the repetition. I was able to fumble my words, but I was able to use the same sentences over and over again. So that's really, really special. However, negatives, the discovery. I had to reintroduce every single idea to new teachers every single time and that got really difficult also searching for a teacher within my parameters wastes time right versus f working with teachers that you already are consistent with which brings me to consistency consistency was how polished I'm able to work with someone over and over again with a set of principles that I'm looking for and last was a lack of focus I didn't have a goal per se except for just speaking and because of this my lack of focus drove me down for the entire idea in this 30 minute challenge so I want to introduce something new after seven days okay so my new formula will introduce four different points vocabulary and grammar memory listening and speaking and kanji this will be my updated language marathon for the month of september for the vocabulary and grammar i will focus on the phrase books and textbooks and i know i said i wasn't going to use any books but the books are only not going to be used in the listening and speaking which i was going to increase to 60 minutes a day but for the rest of september i think i'm going to keep it 30 minutes a day just to maintain consistency next with kanji as i'm learning new things in vocabulary and grammar i want to make sure that the kanji is connected next for memory i still have apps and all of this is going to be reinforcing the vocabulary that I've been learning every single day for breakfast, lunch, and for dinner. All these aren't going to change, and I'm going to try to keep this up and update a new habit, and update a new habit for the next seven days. So for the next seven days, I will be studying these four points, and I think that this is a new and a nice update to keep me on track, keep me honest, and not to get me upset. Um, these past two days, I've been really downplaying how I felt, especially uh, where I want to be in Japanese. If the goal is to learn Japanese natively and speak it by the end of 2020, then I need to step up how I learn it for more than just 30 minutes a day. If you have any questions and comments, leave them down in the description. Thanks for following along, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!